Hello, Goblins. Welcome back to another video with me. With me, Darth Vader. Hey! How you doing? Oh, I better turn this off because it's kind of loud. Hey, welcome back to another bear with me with me, Bear Elliot. This is Darth Bear. I decided to go to the dark side. Like I haven't been there before. But today is a big day for us geeks. Happy May the 4th be with you. Ah, this day comes around only once a year. And this is a big day for us geeks. Ah, such a good day. Such a good day. But what does this mean for the LGBT community? Now, how does my next part of my vlog go into that? There's this place called Build-A-Bear. Now, I thought originally that Build-A-Bear was a new bear club. And I was like, hey, you can go there. You can build your own cub or your bear. And I'm all excited about that. I showed up and I was greatly disappointed that it was a child store where they built teddy bears. But... I was very excited when I found out that they had built an Ewok! Ah, is this thing amazing? So this is my my cub. Um, I built him with love. Um, he isn't he even has a little heart inside. But uh yeah, these are available at um Build-A-Bear. They're really cool. See, Build-A-Bear. Um, and they're even now this is the cool thing for us geeks. This is kind of a toy review because I haven't seen any of these on YouTube. So if you're into bears and building bears, which what bear isn't into building their own bear? <sighs> Hello? Um, I actually took a friend of mine along because um, I was really worried about getting weird looks that a 40 year old man was coming in to build a bear and like there would be weird things. So I just I brought a friend along so that she could, you know, build a bear too. But she actually built a, a minion. But back to this little guy. So Wicket, he, uh, he even comes with a little voice thing. So, he, so isn't he adorable? I'm just in love with him. He's so soft. And uh, I had to get him a lightsaber, which, um, this is his lightsaber. Um, <laughs> it lights up. I thought that was really cool. Um, yes, it's a little, like, dildo-ish. And it even has, like, a little turn down the bottom, like it's a dildo. But I thought it was really cool. So, my Ewok's evil. Well, you know, they're, they can have their evil tendencies. But... That's my little cub. And of course, if you have a bunch of cubs running around the forest, of course one cub's going to run into another cub in the forest. And then you have a gay porn. Which, let's go to the LGBT. 2015 to 2016. This is a huge year for Star Wars. This is amazing. So we not only had Episode 7 come out. That's huge. We have brand new characters, old characters coming back, and it was just phenomenal. See my review of the movie. But we also have other merchandise, and there's so many possibilities that are coming out about Star Wars. That's the cool thing. But what about us LGBT people? Now, Glad has come out publicly and said that this is Disney and, well, basically the geek universe, but Disney's opportunity to introduce gay characters into the Star Wars universe. But Glad, there's other gay characters in Star Wars. That's the cool thing. But even though we're hoping that we're keeping our fingers crossed that Poe Dameron is a big homo, keep my fingers crossed because he's really, really hot. But, um, and I think he has a furry chest. I'm just assuming and fantasizing. But we have had LGBT characters inside of Star Wars before. Knights of the Old Republic introduced a character, which is one of the main characters. I'm not going to try to say her name. It starts with a J. Jahano, I think it is. I'm really bad at saying the Star Wars names. But she was actually, there was a patch that you could download where you could have her be a lesbian character. Also, with the recent novelization of the Star Wars universe, we have our first confirmed lesbian character that was introduced. That's really cool. So, J.J. Abrams has even come out that he says that Star Wars is a perfect landscape to introduce an LGBT character. And um, there's other characters as well. In the non-continuity past, there's even Boba Fett, you know, the big bad guy, who I wonder about. 
I don't know. My Gadar kind of goes into the red, into the Sith area when it comes to uh, Boba Fett. So I don't know. He spends a lot of time alone. But he actually has a couple friends in the Mandalorians that are confirmed gay characters. So Star Wars is a great landscape to introduce LGBT characters. So keep your eyes out. I hope that you're having a great May the 4th be with you because I know I am with my little cub and his lightsaber. And hey, have a wonderful day. Get out there. Be a geek. Be proud. Be proud that you're LGBT. Yay! And let's keep our fingers crossed that we are going to have Poe Dameron come out as a homosexual. That's just my fantasy. So until next time, may the force be with you. Bye, Goblin! I could count in the dark, I see you calling my name. I hear you shouting, hear you calling, but it's not the same. Every word that you are throwing right into my back doesn't matter to me, cause I'm keeping my trick. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go.